Hi, this is KC from KC Boomer Tech, where we talk about everything tech and fun stuff related to boomers. Recently, I did a re review on which webcam to get, and uh, there was one camera company who was sending me a camera that hadn't re reached here by that point. So today, I'm going to review that camera and compare it to two others and give you my thoughts on it. So let's get to it. it up on the screen so you can see it uh, on the no webcam and it's basically a web similar webcam to the uh, Mic uh, Logitech webcam 920 it's in the same department same type of webcam um, and today I'm going to compare it to three others but I want to talk about some of the product the um, beautiful things about this particular webcam and that unlike other um, webcams this particular one is made for streaming if you take the lot the uh, logic tech 920 it's made to be used on a pc on a laptop really not made for mac this one can be used on a pc a smart tv a laptop a mac a chrome chrome box all of these which is great because in you know if you're doing live streaming and you're gonna, and whatever one you want to plug it into is going to work on it, whereas the other ones you need a driver and it doesn't work with everything. Comparisonly wise, let's do a video test. So on the screen, uh, upper left hand corner is a Microsoft um, HD three thousand been replaced by the five thousand. The one on the bottom is my Razer video camera and the one on the upper right hand corner is this the one we're talking about the unzeno camera now it the picture is pretty good but the microsoft camera is not autofocus whereas the unzo if i bring my hand close to it you can see it i think you can see it best like this if i take this nice Disney on ice one and put it in front of the camera and I bring it really close and I do the same thing with the on this camera and I do it on this you can see <clears throat> that that camera is auto focusing and getting the lighting really 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 good now the Microsoft has one microphone built into it the razor has two and so does the unzeno so i'm going to do uh, do an audio test and give you an idea of what it sounds like so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn up my microphone for here and i'm going to let you hear what it sounds like with the hd microphone the microsoft cam webcam and so one, two, three, four. Turn that off. Same thing for the razor. I'm gonna put that on. You can hear one, two, three, four. And this one is the on <laughs> The other microphone, the Unzone the webcam. And you can hear the difference. Both have good pickup, all three. So you have to decide which one is going to give you the most uh, or best sound. I personally use a professional mic in my broadcast, but for this, for gaming or something like this, I believe it has great pickup and uh, considering the distance I'm at. Um, you can also see the quality in the picture is different. The, um, all three are giving me a good picture. Um, the Razer is giving me a wide screen, whereas the other ones are not. Um, and all, all together, they all are producing a pretty good quality picture, which I'm going to go into next. So I just want to... 
as we see the HD from Microsoft uh, gives us a picture but it's not as clear as these two <clears throat> now what's the, really the difference between the two both are uh, good both have dual microphones both have uh, um, the ability to do good color saturation you can adjust all the controls inside of the program um, I'm using OBS particularly so you can see some of the differences one of the major differences of course is that um, one of them gives you a square picture and the other one gives me a wide frame picture uh, you can adjust the color saturation all of these controls on both of them um, again the Anzo is uh, $49, the Razer is $99. The main difference between the two is that the Razer has a backup light in it. So you can turn it on and increase an, an, or back up what they call a fill light, which you can fill in and fill any problems you have with lighting. But all in all, they're both good cameras. Uh, I would recommend that, in fact, um, like I said, I've been using the HD Microsoft for some of my uh, product reviews, and I'm going to be switching over to anyway. So I'm holding it here, and if you can notice that this comes with it has a camera mount, one eighth screw, which you can attach it to a tripod or a mount. The other thing it, it has a wide variety of angles you can turn it to and bake it back and forth on. Um, it also has a privacy screen which you can close and open so that the camera is not visible. So if you forget and you put it on, you don't get those embarrassing moments which you see on YouTube. <laughs> and the other thing is, unlike other ones, <clears throat> this one has a clamp that changes in movement. Most of the other ones are fixed. All right? So this one will allow you to put attach it to a screen, table wherever it is and it'll do a great job of keeping it in place it also came with an extremely nice long cord which is also helpful when you where your computer is shaped so all in all i'm giving this a 10 um some people would give it a four but from what i'm seeing in the color saturation and what it could do and for the price it really really is doing the job so at any rate so please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll leave the link for this product in uh, the description. Um, it's available on Amazon. Uh, that's where I found it. Um, a, uh, comparisonally speaking, the, um, this product on uh, the HD um, Microsoft 3000 or 5000 is running around $39. This product is running around $49, and the Razer is running around $99. But um, <clears throat> for the cost and value, and because of its, because mostly because of its versatility, that you can attach it to a PC, your laptop, you can attach it to a Mac, you can talk it to a Link computer, you can attach it to your Xbox. It really, really means that you can get a lot done with it. And, and do a lot with it um, and what I love about it and all of these platforms and I've tried it on my Mac at downstairs it that it is plug-and-play it plugged in it worked end of statement so listen thanks for watching I hope this has been useful to you until next time please like share and subscribe to the channel and have a great day